And we're back with more Gabriel Knight. I know it was exciting, but uh, let's speak to Grace. Hey, Grace. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? What is up? Ding, ding, ding. I pretty much asked you about this. What about messages? Do you have messages for me? Yes. No. No. None right now. Okay. I asked you all about that last night. But, uh, I do have some inventory items you might be interested in. Like, uh, hey, picture of Mosley. Do you know anything about these? It's your friend Mosley. Why? Oh, no reason. <laughs> I just like showing you stuff. Uh, like the tweezers. Do you know anything about these? Do you know about anything about this? They're called tweezers? <gasps> you know, you should get out more. I should? Alright. What about the magnifying glass? I bet you like that. Do you know anything about these? Do you know about anything about this? What is that? Magnifying glass? It makes things look big. Out to impress a girl, are you? Oh! I hope you're insulting the size of my brain. <laughs> that goes without saying. Mm-hmm. Alright, what about some clay? Do you know anything about these? You need... No, sorry. Not even a... Ew, that looks disgusting. What about... This? Do you know anything about this? You knew No, sorry. You knew <laughs> Isn't it brilliant? I know. Great, isn't it? God, somebody ought to lock you up. Ah, I don't think it's that bad. It's pretty. Yeah, see, it's not that bad. One of the photos from Mos. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Um, tell me about the gift certificate. So, what do you think of this gift certificate? That promotion was the best idea you ever had, and I mean that sincerely. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. All right. Uh, anything else? Seen any good movies? I saw a great documentary last night on pyramid excavations. Oh yeah? You mean small dark places that haven't been touched in centuries? Oh. Oh, oh that. Oh. Well, it did help me gain a better understanding of. I went to a much darker, dirtier place. Oh gosh. Did I ever tell you? Oh. He's still. Yeah, we don't need to hear him blabber on yeah, about it. No doors on. Hands on doors make sense. I'll be back later. Oh. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Wouldn't be a monkey. What? All right. So, day two. Uh, probably first thing we should go to do is the Voodoo Museum and see Gabriel's angles work. Bang! Hey! Welcome, my friend. Oh, welcome, Wolf. Hello. I mean, uh, Dr. I John. I am the proprietor, Dr. John. Mm. If you have any questions, I will be happy to assist. Oh. Great. My name is Nye, and I'll probably pick you up on it. Great. Dr. John is Who? a huge man. If Mano weren't so pleasant, he'd be intimidating. Except he looks pretty now. Ha ha ha! Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Dr. Joan! Could I ask you some questions? Dr. Joan! That is why I am here. Dr. Joan! Alright. Oh, very pretty looking. Voodoo! What can you tell me about the voodoo? Everything. Historical voodoo? Or the voodoo currently practiced in the city? Oh god, this is gonna get a bit boring, isn't it? Uh What can you do? Alright, same thing. Tell me about the murders. What do you know about the voodoo murders? The killings in the newspaper? I know that they have nothing to do with true voodoo in New Orleans. Hmm. Interesting. New Orleans. What do you think of New Orleans? Oh! 
only city in the United States, as far as I am concerned. Hmm. Uh, tell me more. What is it about New Orleans that you so admire? Hmm. It's a real culture of its own, Mr. Knight. Amid the horrid blandness that is Americana, New Orleans alone has a voice. Ooh. Spoken like a true New Orleans. Like me. <laughs> Yet I keep asking. What makes you think the voodoo lawyers aren't being done by local practitioners? Voodoo is a popular movie, man, Mr. Knight. Especially in New Orleans. Anyone can pretend to use it, just as anyone can pretend to be a black belt in karate. And for the same reason. To intimidate. And to cover up things. I know voodoo in this city, Mr. Knight. And believe me, it is not about killing. Even the police have stated that the killings have nothing to do with local voodoo. Ooh, voodoo. So, you know nothing about the voodoo words, case. I neither know nor care to know, Mr. Hmm. My only possible interest is in how it might affect the public's attitude towards the museum. Interesting. Do you think you could so ask far, the guy with the rod drums to shut up? No one has even had the bad taste to bring it up. Until you, that is. Oh, uh, <laughs> ah, funny that. Do you have anything else to say about New Orleans? I have already. All right, fine, fine. Tell me about the snakes. 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 Ah, you have perhaps noticed the museum's snake, Mister. Snakes. They are beautiful creatures. Do you not agree? And the tourists seem to associate them with voodoo. But you don't. Is the snake yours? Do you use it in your practice of voodoo? Voodoo. I admire the spirit of the snake, Mr. Knight. But snakes like the museums can be quite dangerous to handle. Hmm. You didn't really answer my question. I think I did, Mr. Knight. Oh. Do you have any idea what Captain Sankal means? I fear my French is not all it should be, Mr. Knight. Hmm, a bit funny how he said that there. I fear. Have you ever heard of it? No, I have not. Huh. Nobody seems to have. Tell me about yourself. I'm fascinated. Me? Yes, you. Yes, if you don't mind. What is it you wish to learn? Ah, uh, here we go. Why did you open a voodoo museum? The subject has fascinated me all my life, and I wanted to help preserve the cultural heritage it represents. Hmm, interesting. What kind of background in voodoo do you have? Do you have? Let us say that I cut my teeth on it, Mr. Oh. It is in my blood. That sounds painful. Do you do anything besides run the museum? No. The museum does not make me a rich man, but my material needs are simple. I prefer to focus on my one true interest in life. Oh, that sounds creepy. What are your own religious beliefs? Uh, voodoo? My beliefs are too personal and too complex to discuss with a layman. Oh, he called you a layman. Just tell me anything. He called you stupid. I am originally from the West Indies myself, you know. Now I do. Really? What brought you to New Orleans? I was drawn here for personal reasons. Mm -hmm. Just tell me anything. Just tell me anything. <gasps> I am a vegetarian. Thrilling. Really? I can't imagine living without me. That must be the hunter. Yes, the shadow hunter in you. Ha 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 ha. Just tell me anything. I do not care for small talk, Mr. Knight. Ooh. Anything else? Just, I am not an easy person to get to know. I am a very private man. Hmm, I can imagine. Isn't that unusual for someone in the museum? No. Not at all. My displays speak for me. Are you an idiot, Gabriel? I don't answer that. Just not everyone can come see the museum, so 
I occasionally do public speaking on the subject of historical food. Hmm. Anything coming up that I might attend? No. But then, you have me all to yourself right now, do you not? Ooh. That is true. Just tell I uh, Okay, what? okay. Actually, I can't think of a thing. You've thought of many things. That's yeah. a stupid thing to Let say. Tell me about... Very well. I will start at the beginning. Oh, tonight, God. And we'll go on from there at your property. Sounds good. No. As you may know, <sighs> so long. Google is a grassroots religion formed by the mixing together of many different African tribal religions and Anglo religions, such as Catholicism or Protestantism. Uh, okay. In other words, it is a religion born of the African slave trade, but African slaves were imported not only by the United States, but also into the West Indies where the French and Spanish ran plantation islands. Hmm. Prior to 1803, the New Orleans area was owned by France. The French Creole in those days owned many African slaves. As you can imagine. But the Creole did not permit their slaves to gather, giving hmm. no chance for Voodoo to breed here natively. The Creole also knew enough about the corrupted pagan practices of the West Indies slaves to ban the importing of slaves from but that region. Why did your voice suddenly change? That that was kind of weird. So, how did Voodoo come to New Orleans? After the Louisiana Purchase, American legislators relaxed regulations. Slaves were permitted to gather. The Americans also removed the ban on West Indies slaves. Like yourself, I mean, uh... <clears throat> Around the same time, a slave revolt occurred in Santo Domingo, what is now Haiti. Between the lifting of the ban and the Haitian revolt, West Indies slaves began pouring into New Orleans. Mm. Some of them were free people of color, freed or escaped slaves. Some came with their white owners who were fleeing from the revolt. Because it was revolting. Ah. What happened when the West Indies slaves got here? They brought voodoo with them. Voodoo. The native slaves were more than enthusiastic about embracing it. It gave them power, Mr. Knight. If only in the form of a communal law. Among the first meeting places were the Bayou Saint John and the shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Hmm, interesting. Wasn't that the where a murder was committed? Were hmm. heavy snake worshippers, worshipping the one they called the Great Zombie. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Great Zombie just sounds... It either sounds like an actual zombie, or it sounds like Princess Mombi from Return to Oz. The Tell Great Zombie. By 1870, the voodoo activities were beginning to cause fear among the white slave owners. An ordinance was passed to forbid slave gatherings except in designated public areas at designated times. You mean segregation? The was Sunday afternoons and the place, Congo Square. The slaves and free people of color gathered to dance in the simulations of their Voodoo dancers right in sight of Creole society. Oh, I bet they love that. Of course, they also continued to meet in private oh. for the real Sounds like some weird sex act for the real thing. Tell me more about the historic There were a variety of kings and queens at first, Guru priests and priestesses. But from about 1830, a single power emerged. Hmm, interesting. This was a Guru queen named Marie Laveau. Ah, yes. Marie Laveau ruled Guru in New Orleans for many years. I did hear about that. Okay, we got a ding-dong about that. Tell me more about the story. I've given you as much detail as I can, Mr. Knight. Look around the museum if you desire more information. 